hoping to put the marriage into marijuana, a dating site is now trying to connect pot lovers to potential new mates. And its database of users is quickly growing. With the click of a button, you could potentially find your new pot smoking partner. Canamatch.ca works like most dating apps, but with a twist. You can check out users' profiles, look at their photos, and even find out their preferred method of cannabis consumption. You don't necessarily have to be a cannabis consumer or user to use the site. You just have to be interested in dating one. And um, since numbers do show us that, you know, quite often uh, cannabis couples experience less domestic violence and people are using cannabis for things like, you know, lubrication and all kinds of things. So we're talking about cannabis and love in lots of ways, but we haven't heard about a cannabis dating site. The site's cannabis community is continuing to grow. So we asked people on the street if they think coupling up with cannabis could work for them. And the consensus seems to be, why not? It's kind of cool, different, why not? It's gonna be legal and you're getting like-minded individuals together, why not? If someone wants to go on a cannabis dating site and find someone else who enjoys cannabis too, why not? The site is also open to those who just want to platonically connect with other marijuana users in their area. The aim is to take away some of the stigmas associated with the drug and maybe even find some canna love. On most sites you have the option to swipe yes or no to the question, do you use drugs? And that becomes an issue because most cannabis users don't really consider their use of smoking an occasional joint to be drug use. And if they do say yes to that, then a lot of people who don't want to be with people who use drugs would not you know, choose to swipe on them. With legalization fast approaching, it could mean a lot of Canadians could soon be coming out of the cannabis closet. In Vancouver, Ashley Burr, City News.